Goku has now transformed to his Super Saiyan 2 for the first time fighting Okiyora as he proved them who was the stronger one. Is this the end or is Goku power continued to grow? In the last part we mentioned that Goku and Okiyora's battle has begun as both of their power clash with one another and from there Goku went and transformed to a Super Saiyan as he was able to push Okiyora. Okiyora then unleashed a new form which no one has ever seen before, his resurrection form and with that he began to overpower Goku. He did this some training which allowed him to be even stronger but Goku had a trick up his sleeve as he went and transformed to his Super Saiyan 2 power and upon using that form Goku went and beat the shit out of Okiyora as he didn't stood a chance against Goku and he ended with the finishing blow. What is going on my Z fans? Welcome back to another part of What If Goku Was Sent to the Bleach World. Before you begin this What If, please drop me a like, I'll greatly appreciate it. It shows that you guys support my hard work and if you haven't already, check out my backstory Hero Z. It is pinned inside the comment section below. Check it out, trust me, you're gonna love this series. Goku has now finished beating Okiyora as Okiyora has agreed to join the Bleach Force you could call it since they don't really have a name for it but he agreed to be part of the Soul Society and help Ichigo in his quest since Goku gave him a no option it was either help or die. With that Goku no gear returned right back to the Las Noches as they saw that Kenpachi, one of the captain of the 13 Korgar squad along with Byakuya was busy fighting with Yami. Yami was there doing everything he can to attack them as he did not like them one bit and from there when Yami saw Okiyora come, he was confused on why Okiyora is on Goku's side and said, Hey Okiyora, what the hell is going on? Why are you on his side? Quiet you fool, if are you, step aside, otherwise you will die here. Ha! Looks like you became a traitor! I'll gladly kill- Before he could say another word, Goku went and he one shot him as he was inside his Super Saiyan and he managed to pierce right through Yami and from there he powered up a massive angry Kamehameha wave and aimed it at him. Yami tried to hold up but the wave hit him head on and he died right there. Kunpachi didn't like that Goku has intervened with his fight and said, Hey, who the hell you think you are? That was my fight. Huh? Oh, my bad. He kind of asked for it, he was just, you know, asking for it. I don't give a shit if he was asking for it or not. You're not supposed to interfere in a fight, especially of a captain from a court guard squad. I'm gonna enjoy killing you here. Whoa, he doesn't have to go through that, you wanna kill me just for that? Yes I do. If anything, I heard that you're pretty strong too. I have a little grudge to fight you to see where you stand against me. Huh, if it's a fight you wanted then you should have told that from the start. Show me what you got as Goku went and transformed to a Super Saiyan and he got into his ready position. With that, his and Kenpachi's battle has begun. Kenpachi went and he charged right towards Goku, while Goku did the same and both their power clashed with one another as they were going at it back and forth. With each landing blow, everyone was seeing that the entire Lost Notions was shaking but Goku wasn't holding any punches back along with Kenpachi. As Kenpachi went and he tried to do everything he can to overpower Goku, but Goku went and dodged all of his attack and said, Your problem is you're too slow, and if I won, I could easily one shot you. Huh, <laughs> is that so? Well then, why don't you show me if that's the case? Alright then, let me show you. Goku, without wasting time, went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan 2 as he instantly came right in front of Kampachi, and with that, he went and one shot him to the ground. Kampachi wasn't able to move since Goku is in a Super Saiyan 2 state. Byakuya was very impressed and looked towards him and said, you are one strong opponent. What is your name? My name is Goku. Hey, speaking of my name, where's Ichigo? Ichigo Kurosaki has returned back to the world of the living. He is there to protect it from Aizen. Wait, what? Aizen already is at the world of the living and Ichigo went without me? Oh man, I need to go help him out. With that, Goku saw that Orohime was okay, as he was very happy that she was making out it safe from Notch Nolches, and from there he saw Chad and Uryu was also okay. From there, Orohime helped Goku by healing all his wounds since she saw that Goku kind of did lose some stamina during his fight with Okiyora and all that, and with that she began to heal him up. After healing Goku up, she, her power was able to restore his gi to 100%, as Goku's gi has been returned back too, and from there, he looked towards him and said, Alright then, wish me luck. It's time I go and end this bastard Aizen. Wait, I wanna come too. Huh? You wanna come too? Are you sure you got the balls to face Aizen? <laughs> what do you think of me? 
A coward, don't forget, I'm the one that pushed you to go your Super Saiyan 2 form. Yeah, yeah, whatever, alright then, let's go. As Okiyoro grabbed onto Goku and with that, Goku went and he instant transmission to Karakuro Town. On Karakuro Town, Aizen has arrived there with the rest of his Lost Noches Aron cars, and with that, they made a full assault towards the 13 Court Guard squad. The captains hold their own against them as they were able to defeat them, but Aizen was the last one to stand. Aizen was now ready to go and fight as he began to go and make sports out of everyone like he did inside the cannon. With that, Captain Genrusa Yamamoto came to stop Aizen as him and Aizen went at it and he used every assault he had just to hold Aizen off but he couldn't as Aizen was able to defeat him and from there Ichigo has arrived as he was already in his hollow form. With that Ichigo went and he striked Aizen from the back but Aizen was able to see it as he was able to dodge it and with that Ichigo went and he powered up a Getsuga Tensho and aimed it towards Aizen. Aizen was able to easily dodge that but he did get hit and when Ichigo saw that Aizen was instantly regenerating getting Ichigo to get scared and say what the hell are you? How is it you're able to instant regenerate yourself? It is that simple, Ryoga boy. I am far stronger than you. And it's all thanks to the Hogyoku, I am able to now fully summon it and use its power to the fullest. It's time I go and fulfill my mission now. Not over my dead body! Ichigo went and charged towards Aizen as he tried to hit him but Aizen easily went and brushed him off as Ichigo saw that someone has arrived and that was no other than his own father along with Kisuke and even Lady Yorichi. With all three of them working together to hit Aizen with everything they got too, it wasn't enough. Aizen was easily toying with all of them, while Ichigo was fighting with Gin Ichimaru, Gin Ichimaru was also toying with Ichigo. Seeing how weak he is, Ichigo felt very pathetic and he also felt that he wound up be able to stand a chance against Aizen because Aizen got to him mentally. Although he did get a little stronger training with Goku now, Aizen was still able to get through Ichigo mentally as he has revealed to Ichigo that he has been spying on him his entire life. All the battles that Ichigo has been through is all because of Aizen. He was the one who organized all those battles. Upon hearing that got Ichigo to be really shocked and scared as he was about to reveal Ichigo what he is but from there his father has intervened as he took Ichigo and he left. Aizen then looked towards Gin and said, Alright Gin, let's go into the Soul Society. It is time we go to the real Karakura town and create the Oaken. As you wish, my lord. I'm here to follow wherever you go. With that, they open the door towards the Soul Society as they have now arrived. Goku, on the other hand, has now arrived to Karakura town. And from there, he saw that Ichigo was gone along with his father. They went towards the Dorganto so they could do their training. As Ichigo's father told him that how he could train inside the Dorganto and with that, he has managed to stop time, allowing Ichigo to go and train with his Zanpak toe, and with that his power continued to increase. Not knowing where everyone is, Kisuke then saw Goku and said, Oh, hey Goku! Wait, what is Okiro doing here? Ha! <laughs> Long story short, he's one of us! But where's Aizen? I came in to stop him! Well, I'm afraid you're kinda late, Goku! He has already entered the Soul Society, hurry up! I'll open the gate for you, you could go there! No need! I could instant transmission there! Ready, Okiora? Fine. Wait, if you're gonna go there, Goku, let me come with you. I'm um, sure. With that, Goku saw not just Kisuke, but the rest of the captains wanted to witness this battle as they all were able to get up and they wanted to come with Goku. From there, Goku went and he instant transmission away to words where Aizen was. Aizen, on the other hand, continued to walk down the streets as he was able to now go and finally use the Hokuku power, but before he can, Goku had instant transmission right in front of him. As Aizen saw Goku and said, Ah, so you have finally arrived. I've been waiting for you, wondering how long it will take you to come here. Well, I'm here now, Aizen, and your plan to try to rule the Soul Society is not going to happen. I'm going to make sure I stop you. Ichigo couldn't do it, but I could. I'll do everything in my power to end you right here. <laughs> is that so? And tell me, why do you want to fight? What are you fighting for? This isn't even your world. Why don't you join me together? We could rule the entire universe. Our power will be so strong no one can stop us. I'm not interested. If anything, I've heard this a thousand of times from all my enemies back on earth too. So you could save the speech for someone else. I'm only here to stop you. I made a promise to protect this world no matter what. Even if I'm here temporarily, I'll protect it temporarily too. Now fight me Aizen. Ah, uh, Okiora. What are you waiting for? Attack Goku. 
Goku stared towards Okiora as he could see that Okiora was kind of struggling and from there Okiora remembered just how powerful Goku was too and said, I will not. How dare you disobey me Okiora. He has defeated me. There is no point in me fighting him. So you decided to switch teams? I'm very ashamed at you. It's time for you to die. Before Aizen could do anything to kill Okiora, Goku came right in front of Aizen as he striked him in his face, getting Aizen to fall. Once when Aizen got up, he looked towards Goku and said, <laughs> Very well then, you want to fight me? I'll show you just how powerful I am then. As Aizen began to go and power up his spiritual pressure, Goku was able to sense just how powerful Aizen is and without wasting any time, Goku went and he screamed. <laughs> Goku has now gone and transformed to his Super Saiyan 2. As he looked towards Aizen and said, Alright Aizen, you really want to fight everyone? I'm right here now. It's time I put an end to where's this? Everyone was very shocked since this was the very first time seeing Goku use the power of a Super Saiyan 2. Will this power be enough to put a stop towards Aizen? After all, he is one of the strongest characters in Bleach, if not the number one strongest. What form will it take Goku to beat Aizen will all be answered in the next part. If you haven't already joined my Discord server yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it. And please check out my backstory hero of Z. It is pinned inside the comment section below. Check it out. Trust me, you're going to really enjoy this series. And this is an ongoing series and it's one amazing series. <laughs> Yeah.